Hey everybody, I've been asked to read on the presidential election that's going to occur. It's actually a runoff in Colombia, South America. The two candidates in the runoff are very different from each other. One is a leftist candidate, that is Petro, and then the right-wing candidate is Hernandez. So, in the first election, Petro got 40%, and I believe Hernandez got 28%, and then the other candidate got 23%. So, it's, it is projected, I believe, that Petro would win, but then there are some outlets saying that it's a dead heat between the two of them. So, there is some concern that, that Hernandez will win. So let's, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's look at Petro. Let's just look at Petro. Petro. A lot of people in the country apparently want change because to vote for somebody, for so many people to vote for somebody who's so far left is quite unusual. So Petro, let's see how he's going to do. It's June the 19th is the election. Petro. How is he going to do? One more shuffle. Okay, Petro, Petro. How is he going to do on June the 19th? What do things look like for him on June the 19th? Coming up pretty quick here. So let's see. In the center, the focus, the Empress in reverse. So, who the Empress in reverse. So apparently there's some kind of lack of abundance, lack of fruitfulness, lack of love and Harmony there in Colombia, and we're crossed by the Four of Rods. This is what people want. They want this achievement. They want this celebration. They want this, this stability. They want this stability. So there's some, there, this is definitely um, wanting to stabilize the economy, it sounds like or stabilize um, uh, any, any earthly thing, any physical thing, um, because the Empress is a, very, or is a very earthy figure. So let's see. The bottom card, this can be the Y or the Foundation. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is the bully. Five of Swords is... Um, Somebody who goes after what they want to win at all costs. Even if it hurts other people. So this is the bully. This is the why. This is the why people want change. There's some, there's a sense of unfair, a huge sense of unfairness. Let's see, in the past, the nine of, the nine of wands or the nine of rods. So... This is protecting something. This is willing to fight again in the past and protecting something. But he's facing um, the past. He's facing um, protecting something from the past. So let's see. At the top here we have what's on the mines. Let's see. Four of Cups in reverse. So people are coming out of a sense of apathy. They actually are going... This is signifying to me that there's going to be a lot of people coming out to vote that normally wouldn't. Or that normally wouldn't care enough to. 
So near future, Wheel of Fortune. That's a good card. That's a big yes for Petro. That's a big yes in the near future. But let's see what the rest of the cards say. You position. Three of Swords. Hmm. This is sometimes how um, a person sees themselves or how others see that person. So the first thing that comes to, to my mind is um, Bleeding Heart Liberal. He's very, very left wing. Um, this also could be um, the Three of Swords is about painful knowledge that's painful for some. But, hmm, let's see, let's see. In the environment or surrounding him or how others see him is Six of Swords moving away from a bad situation. That's what he's intending to do. Make, he's intending to make big changes and move people away from a bad situation. Let's see, hopes and fears. Page of Cups. So Page of Cups is good news. Hoping for good news. And then outcome, Knight of Cups. So that's, to me, Cups are always um, left-leaning. So this is, this is an action-oriented left-leaning person. Um, and he's facing the future. So it looks very good for Pedro. I would say, yes, he's going to win the presidential election in Colombia, South America on June the 19th. Thanks everybody.